Book 37 of 2019 was uh, Fishbowl by Bradley Somer. Um, I really like this book um, because I really enjoyed how it had been framed by a goldfish falling from the top of a high rise all the way down and that what it sees as it's going down is is the chapters in the book so it's a really nice framing device in that way and that's never been done before like I've never heard of any other books that do that so I thought that that was really kind of innovative for Bradley Sorman to kind of do that um, and what I really really enjoyed about it was that each person has like their own chapter I mean they obviously have a few chapters to go through but it's like a, a character has a chapter and then in that character's chapter we'll mention a few other people and then they have their own chapter later where they mention the other person and everyone's kind of like all kind of connected together and like it's there's a really interesting point where in fact there's a few interesting points where in one character's story they do something and you don't think anything of it so for example in one of the characters, I don't want to spoil it because it, it was really nice when I read it but I need to say it because then it makes sense. Um, in one character's chapter she rings the doorbell but she rings the wrong one, um, like in of the Hara, she rings the wrong apartment. And then another chapter is of another person completely different and as you're reading it you don't really think anything of the previous you know, characters or chapters but then the doorbell rings and it's that person. And you then are like, oh, like this was happening at the same time as that was happening with that character. And it's kind of almost like the whole book takes place in like less than half an hour. But look how big it is. So it's like character stories are happening at the same time. And you are realising that all these things have happened at the same time. And they've all crossed over and interconnected. And that character, you know, knows that character. And they're all kind of crossed over. And... Um, like the lift breaks and the high rise so they all meet on the stairs and um it's just really really interesting how you can live in a building with lots of other people and never know any of them and never you know i kind of found myself thinking like i um i walk down the street in manchester and i don't know most of the people that i pass but when i joined a book club and i knew a few people from book club I see them sometimes on the street, like in the distance, like, because obviously if I walk past them I'd say hello, but I see them in the distance, I'm like, oh that's someone from book club, and then I think to myself, I wouldn't know that person and recognise that person if we hadn't met at book club, and like, I look at everybody else, I'm thinking, how many of these people know people that I know, because Manchester's quite a small place, and people are quite connected, and like, an example would be like, someone takes a picture of somewhere where I go frequently, and I'm like, what are the chances that we're in the same place at the same time when we've just never realised before and that now I know this person that I'll be able to recognise them in that same space but I could have walked past someone a million times before and not realised it but only realise it when I know that person. It kind of made me think as well about how you can, um, uh, sorry I had like two conflicting like thoughts then and then the first one I'd forgotten as the second one came in and then I was like oh, which one am I talking about um so you can have like um you can walk past someone and, and they can have their own entire life that you know nothing about and also that you don't necessarily know what the person's like behind closed doors and that someone's life and, and how they are in the you know comfort of their own home might be completely different to how they are externally um and this book as well, like, there was some points in it where I was like, oh my god, like, oh, like, I was, like, literally, like, responding and I was reading quite quickly trying to find out what was going to happen and I was like, oh, what's going to happen, what's this and whatever. Um, so it kind of, you know, I did visceral respond to it. I mean, it's written in quite a postmodern style. It talks, you know, at one point it talks about a green condom, apple scented condom, and it talks about, like, like, sex quite overtly and it, it talks about... You know things that you you don't need to know about but because it's quite postmodern and it does talk about them um so i don't quite like books that are like that so i was a bit off put by that but it is really well written and it's kind of just quite heartfelt in places and it was just that kind of idea of people all being connected and as well it kind of um has the theme of if you are vulnerable with somebody and you 
are open with somebody and you allow them to see you and who you really are that you will connect far deeper with that person and you won't be lonely and you know there's this idea of being surrounded by so many people and hearing so many people's lives through the walls but yeah feeling so alone and separate from everybody and I think that's quite a usual feeling in like cities and stuff and in high-rise buildings and things because you don't have that interaction with people you don't know people very well you don't see the same people all the time and if you do it's very like hi how are you but not anything about their life and life and what they're doing um so I think it kind of made you think about that and there's a few things that happen in it with certain characters where they show who they really are and it helps them to connect with other people and and you know make friendships deeper than, than just a ha hello in the corridor or whatever um, I'm trying to think if there was kind of anything else that it made me think I think I probably covered most things um, yeah and the other thing was just that you know everyone has a reason for why they behave the way that they do and people are vulnerable for different reasons and that if you kind of get to know them and kind of think about them as a human being and not just what they appear to be you will connect with them and, and have more friends and stuff so it was just a really kind of nice like snapshot of life and how you know it does start off by saying like the building is like a life like it's experienced everything that you could possibly experience in life but not all at once and all at the same time it's like a layered kind of thing so it was just a nice snapshot of, of what was going on in the building because you don't really think about it do you? you don't really think about you know every single other person who's sat in their house what are they doing like what what kind of conversations are they having what kind of struggles are they having what kind of lives are they leading like you don't even really think about that much like you know when I walk past buildings I think oh I wonder what all the people are doing in there and they're doing all the same things or whatever like it just makes you think about that really so it was really interesting for that reason so I definitely recommend it um you know and it is really well written like the chapters are like a couple of pages like four or five pages per chapter so it's really really quick to read I read it in a day so it's not you know a big investment or whatever so it was just a, a really really nice read and you know I'd recommend it for that reason